For this quest, it says you have to visit all three monolith locations in Fortnite. So I'm going to show you all three locations. Here we go. The first monolith is going to be right over here in the snow biome. You can also sometimes find the uh, Serenade NPC here. So this is going to be the exact location, as you can see. So it's going to be between Brutal Bastion and this Bastion right here. It's going to be between these three. And yeah, this is location number one, as you can see. Location number two is going to be all the way in this PUI right here between Naughty Nets and the Kenjutsu Crossing PUI. So it's going to be this spot right over here. So as you can see, it has the same like monolith springing out of it. And uh, like I said, uh, Serenade should spawn like in one of those like three locations, one of the, these like monolith locations. And here we are. And hop, and there it is. That's the second location. And the monolith location number three is going to be right in front of the Citadel. So this is the Citadel PY. And you're going to find the third monolith right over here. As you can see, it has the same like architecture with the monoliths all uh, like with the like the tall buildings all around, the spiky buildings. And here we are. And there it is. That's all three locations. Beautiful. For this quest, it says you have to ring four different gongs. And if you don't know, this is a gong. It's basically a Chinese drum that when you uh, like when you hit, it does the gong sound. As you can see, it's probably like a very low volume. Uh, but yeah, that is the gong right there. So uh, there's going to be four on the map. Each gong is going to be in one of these like dueling circles. This like uh, circle with the sand in it. So basically, this is the these are the four locations. So the, the location that I'm currently at is going to be this one right here. So that's the dueling circle number one. Uh, the second gong location is going to be this dueling circle right here. The third gong location is going to be right over here. And the fourth gong location is going to be right here. As you can see, you can already like see the circle from the uh, from the mini map. And uh, yeah, just make your way to each of these and make sure you hit the gong so it does make the sound. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. It is as simple as that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now see you in the next one. Bye bye. For this quest, it says you have to score trick points on a bike. So basically, just find yourself one of these dirt bikes, which spawn literally everywhere on the map, and they're back in the game. And uh, basically, when you jump in the air, make sure you hold left shift to do the tricks. So right now, of course, I'm in build mode, and I highly recommend you do this in build mode because you can just simply make your own ramp, like your own uh, your own like height ramp, to do the tricks. And we're gonna like slide all the way back. Like I said, once you're in the air, you just simply hold uh, left shift and then you just use the arrow buttons like left and right to wiggle around. So here we go. Hold space, jump, and then you simply do the tricks like so. And there it is. So that's 119,000 uh, trick points. You need, I think, 10,000 or 100,000. So just do this like 10 times like with the, with the same ramp or you can just make yourself another ramp. And uh, like I said, just hold uh, space when you hear when you when you like reach the limit, and you can jump, and then you simply do the tricks. So it's very, very easy to do, especially with these dirt bikes. I don't recommend the rogue bikes because they don't really do any tricks. You simply just can get airtime with them, which is very very low in terms of score points. Uh, but yeah, I recommend doing this. I hope you guys like uh, enjoy the video. And yeah, that's it. For this quest, is that you have to enter a vehicle within 30 seconds of landing. So uh, basically, just go to this spot right here because it is a race track, and in it you're gonna find a bunch of vehicles that they can uh, jump into. So we're gonna go right here, and we're gonna enter. Like the moment you land, you have exactly 30 seconds in your hand to enter any vehicle. So there's one here, there's one there, there's a bike over there, there's a modded vehicle under this little garage thingy right here. So yeah, the race track is by far the best spot to be in. I'm just gonna do this and we're gonna enter the vehicle and there it is <laughs> it is as simple as that for this quest it says you have to deal 200 damage with the lock on pistol to opponents so basically the lock on pistol is going to be available in uh, a couple of days and this is what it's going to look like it's ba it basically locks onto opponents you just need to wait for like four ticks so it uh, when the, like you lock into an opponent it takes four times and then the weapon has been locked and the the bullets should go straight like should home on the on the opponent so find yourself one of these uh, pistols they should be around the entire map like once these are uh, are out they should be available uh, literally everywhere so grab a lock on pistol try to lock on a target and then just you know wait for four ticks and then shoot him deal 200 damage and that shoot with the quest for this week seven season the quest is that you have to purchase an item from dahlia or sticks so right here we have sticks one of the npcs that you have to purchase an item from so you can find sticks right over here in this little shack so it's very unremarkable so this spot is kind of like uh, uh hard to find so it's going to be uh next to anvil square right here and you basically just come here and you can just buy the havoc suppressed assault rifle from him or of course you can activate this uh, prop disguise so just do this right here for 400 gold and yeah, just do that and that should complete the quest. 
For this week's 7 quest, you essentially have to eliminate 3 players with exotic weapons. So right now in Fortnite, there's really not any character that sells exotic weapons except for a secret character. So as you can see, if I pan out on each and every one of these, each and every one is going to have a different weapon, but none of them are really exotic, as you can see right here. So we got the Havoc Palm, the Med Mist, Thor Circle, Havoc again, so no, no exotics. But actually there's a secret NPC called Serenade, and she actually spawns randomly in each game. Each game she spawns in three random locations, which are the monoliths. So the first monolith location is going to be this one. The second monolith location is going to be this one. And the third monolith location is going to be all the way over here. So I highly recommend you always start your game at this spot right here. To uh, Like if you don't find it here, you can just grab a 3D maneuver gear and make your way to this one. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to go to the first monolith right here. Hopefully she spawns here. That would save us the trip. If you don't know, this NPC, the Serenade NPC, sells exotic weapons for 25 gold only. Ooh, we got really, really lucky. So each weapon is going to cost only 25 gold, which is very, very cheap. That is dirt cheap, as they say. Let me just grab this shotgun. Because this guy is going to be... Oh, okay, it's a, it's a bot. Alright, so back to it. So this is the Serenade NPC. I already made a video on her location and stuff like that, but we finally get to use one of these, uh, like as you can see, each one of them, each of these weapons uh, costs 25 gold alone, and it says exotic. Oh my god, really? Really? <laughs> Dude, I'm making a video, man. I'm making a video. How? Um... <sighs> so you saw that, right? <laughs> you can buy a weapon for 25 gold. Uh, it's very, very cheap, and then you can use the uh, rift. You can activate the rift, and from that rift, you can just go and eliminate some people. You need to eliminate three people in total, and that should be the quest. For this week's 7 quest, it says that you have to uh, light 3 campfires and uh, basically campfires can be found all around the map. I already made a video on all of their locations on the map, uh, but one of the best places to go and uh, like light up campfires is actually Brutal Bastion. Because believe it or not, Brutal Bastion has 5 campfires in total <laughs> and you only need to light up 3 of them. So I'm just going to show you some of the locations that you can go to. So the first campfire is going to be right here at the entrance as you can see. So you see this bridge, it's going to be right underneath it. So before I go to the campfire, let me just grab a weapon here, because I am going to need it. Here we are. Ooh, this is very useful. Uh, a lot of people land here, so you might get eliminated, so be careful. You can also just light these like differently, like, uh, you know, in, in different games, like light the same one. So this is number one right here. Let me just, like I said, people are, <laughs> people are going to try to eliminate you. So let me just, you know, heal up a little bit here. And then I'm going to show you the second location. Oh my god, do it. There we go. Alright, so the second location is going to be right over here. So here we are. So this is the center of the PY, as you can see. Right over here. And then you just simply look to this spot right over here, next to this giant dome. And you'll find the second campfire right inside of it. Just destroy this little wall thing. And you can just light up this campfire right here. Uh, and then we'll go for the third campfire. This one is going to be uh, right inside the main building right here with the circular uh, like opening. So let me just you know ping it for you on the map. It's going to be right here. You simply just go inside. And then you go downstairs. You take a right. You keep going forward. And you'll find this little opening right here. Just destroy it. And you'll find the uh, third and final campfire. You can also enter it from the outside. So you can just land here. And you can go from the inside right here. From the outside. And just light it up. And yeah, that is pretty much it. Just do that and that should be the quest. For this week's 7 quest, it says you have to headshot opponents with the Cobra DMR. I believe you need to get 5 headshots. And uh, this is the Cobra DMR as you can see. It's a very common weapon that you can find literally everywhere. Uh, I highly recommend doing this in Team Rumble mode. Uh, because they're just people are gonna just keep spawning and you can just aim for the head you don't really need to op to uh, eliminate them you just need to aim for the head as you can see right here they're just gonna aim for this mercenary's head so uh, headshots will shine uh, with orange color so that means that you got a headshot but if you get something else it will be white so if you get a, like a body shot it will be white where did they go did they turn around <laughs> Yo, they completely disappeared. So you get the basic idea. Just aim for the head. Dude, stop. Stop moving. Let me just eliminate you. And yeah, you just get five headshots with the Cobra DMR, which means the designated uh, marksman rifle. And that should complete the quest. 
For this week's 7 quest, it says you have to put up different wanted posters, so in total you need to put up 3 of them. We're gonna go through them uh, one by one. So the first location is gonna be at Brutal Bastion, right over here. So we're gonna go over there and uh, put up the, um, the wanted poster. So here we go. Some people are already fighting there. So this should turn out badly for us, but I'm gonna try my best not to die. I never really use these like uh, shield bubbles. Do you guys use them? Like I feel like they're nobody really really uses them. They're super useless. Let me just remove uh, the pink. All right. So there's the first uh, poster right underneath me. Here we go. Just gonna interact with it. And that is the first poster right there. Beautiful. Location number two is gonna be right here at Mega City. So just make your way to this spot right here, and you should find the poster right underneath us. So I'm going to use this to drop faster. There we go. And this is the poster as you can see. Oh, it's kind of glitchy. Alright, nice. And the third and final location is going to be all the way at Charter Labs. So just make your way to this spot right here on the map. And you'll find the third uh, poster. And just like any other poster, people are going to land next to you and try to assassinate you. So you got to be uh, careful. So let me just grab this weapon. Hopefully we don't die. Nice. And this is the next poster. Here we go. We just interact with it. And there it is. Beautiful. So that's all three locations. For this week 8 quest, it says you have to visit Frostbite Falls and rest for retreats. So we're going to start with uh, Frostbite Falls right here. So Frostbite Falls is obviously is going to be in the Frost Biome. And it's basically these uh, giant cavern valleys. I don't know what you call these. But basically it's this right here. Here we go. So this is Frostbite Falls right here. I'm going to show you the exact location on the map. It's going to be this spot right over here. So that's Frostbite Falls. And now we're going to go to Rest for Retreat. So I'm going to show you exactly where that is. Okay, here we are. So Rest for Retreat is going to be this island right here. It's literally a retreat. And it's going to be full of bamboo trees, if I remember correctly. So here we go. Just going to drop. Just going to show you what the island looks like and where it is exactly on the map. Come on, come on, come on. So these are the bamboo trees. I don't think they're rendering correctly, but <laughs> here we are. It doesn't really matter. And there it is. So this is the second location, as you can see. And it's right here on the map. It's going to be this little, ma uh, this little island uh, uh, east of uh, Mega City, as you can see. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all two locations. For this quest, you you have to deal damage with the unvaulted submachine gun. This gun right here. There we go. We gotta reload. Come on, dude. Really? You're gonna use the force on me? It should show up really, really soon. So that is the basic idea. This is the weapon, as you can see. This is the submachine gun. And yeah, just deal damage with that. And that should complete the quest. For this week 8 quest, it says you have to sprint on grind rails. So if you don't know what grind rails are, it's basically these uh, floating lines that you can literally like run on top of. So basically, uh, this grind rail exists in uh, Mega City right here. There's also new grind rails at Shatter Slabs, and there are ones at Slappy Shores if you want to go there. But I highly recommend this spot right here because it's uh, pretty safe. You can just land here, and nobody's gonna really catch you on top of these grind rails. So just gonna jump on top of one, and then you simply run, as you can see. You sprint like that. You just press left shift to sprint. And like I said, it's very high, so people are not really gonna get to you. And you can just keep sprinting like this. So that I'm gonna wait for my um, sprint meter to recharge. Here we go, it's full again. And we're simply gonna run again. And here we go. And you need to sprint for a total of 200, I think, meters. Let me just check. Oh, actually, yeah, I can check right now. So uh, it's 200 meters in total, just, um, just sprint uh, on top of these grand rails and that should complete the quest.